Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche Genetic Survival Game with me, Delhi or Delfran, for those of you who don't know me, and for those of you, welcome back to the series. Now I am going to be slowing Niche down on the channel guys, just for this week, maybe next week too. I'm really, really sorry if you guys love the series, but I just feel like I'm moving too quickly and a lot of you guys aren't kind of interested in it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be slowing it down and just posting twice a week. I think that will be kind of nice and maybe we can slow down and kind of get in depth with their little stories. But the tribe have actually reached this beautiful area here uh, on this new island. They followed their senses. They came here. They must have followed the scent of this tree. And I think they're ready to kind of do some exploring. Now there is another like grasslands here directly beside them. So they could indeed uh, do some, uh, you know, do some, do, do some traveling if they wanted to. But... I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, what do I actually love here? I love the fact that they have this big jaw. This is the thing that I love about these, these creatures. They have this big, beautiful jaw. They have, like, this big, like, body. So what's the genetics that they have right now? So they have the cracker jaw, and they have medium body, which I'm really kind of liking. Normally, I don't like the cracker jaw, but I'm kind of liking it on my tribe members right now. Although I do love little, uh, little, uh, Ruduku over here who has the medium body and the short snout because I think it's so beautiful. But I think we're going to make it so that everyone has the cracker jaw in their thing right now for the nuts. And then I think we're going to make it so that everyone has good berry picking ability, the nimble fingers. I think that would be perfect. So who else is pregnant? Kiari over here. We need to get rid of that spit scent with cracker jaw and then we need to get... Um, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Nimble fingers, because you have a no paw. Um, are you pregnant as well? You are warmed up by the pack, my beautiful Roduke. Uh, Kaduke, you are also warmed up by the pack. Um, okay. Oh, and we need to get Koizy, because Koizy is going to be, um, giving birth pretty soon as well. So let's give you the nimble fingers as well. All right. So let's go to the next day and see who the firstborn of this new generation is going to be. Unfortunately, we did get someone sick over here, which is unfortunate. However, we did give birth to a beautiful violet-eyed child, which is Coco over here. So hello, little Coco. Now, I do want to get these guys pregnant, but you guys were saying that if I move someone onto a plort, they won't get sick. I feel like that's kind of cheating. I feel like that's really, really cheaty um, of a way of doing it. So we're going to just have a little bit of a look and just see if we can kind of explore and expand. I don't know if they would um, do too much exploring. I think they might just even go straight to a new area. So I might even just move uh, you on to Kiari. Uh, Rokiri, let's move you here and let's have you take all these berry bushes. Roduk, let's have you move over too. I think they would continue just leave. Like, I don't think that would be an issue. I think the real issue would be trying to get everyone to kind of stay near uh, Roduknu over here, who isn't exactly the best example of someone. So we're going to pop you up into here, just see if you get sick. Uh, Tataku, we're going to pop you up into here. Can we move you all the way over here? We'll keep the sick children over here just so we can. Um, Risana, let's come out here. You need to take these berries from here. And then, beautiful little no, Duke, you need to come over as well. Can we pop you over there? Okay, so that's kind of the whole pack now, really. Um, so maybe we'll be able to move Coco over and we might be able to like just explore a new island. I don't really want to stay on a small island such as this. I don't think it's a good idea in the slightest. Uh, we are going to move over Mirian. We're going to move you into here, my little Koduke. We're going to move you. I think we should probably have you just take those berries there. We're going to have you move up onto here. That's perfect. We're going to have you take those berries there and maybe pluck some grass. And we might even have you... Oh, we can't even have you move out yet, so we'll wait a little while. Do, do, do. Okay, so the two of them are sick. Oh, wait. Miran, you're not sick anymore. Okay, cool. We can move you over there. So you didn't actually take damage, which I think is kind of cool. So let's move you over there. Can you move on to a port? <gasps> let's move you here. And let's go. Let's go to a new port. I think that's such a good thing to do. Oh, I'm excited now. I'm happy that we were able to move off that island so quickly and that no one is, like, going to die pretty soon. They might die. You never know. 
but I'm really kind of happy about that. So we're just going to have to have a little bit of a look and see, ooh, what is this? It looks like a kind of a sea anemone, or an an it looks really interesting. Uh, let's see this island first of all. Oh wow, looks like we have a jungle with some carnivorous plants. Uh, we're gonna have to watch out for that. Looks like we're gonna, oh my gosh. Okay, so we might have to have our people run over to this side of the island past the beach. I don't know if they would linger around all these thorns and that, or maybe they would use the thorns as some kind of protection from the jungle creatures because I feel like they, they would have heard about our little incidents. Uh, for now though, I do need to get everyone kind of gone. Roduke New, I need to mate you with someone. I need to mate you. Maybe Raysana? Let's just see. So she's G and A, and you have Homestar. So we could mate you two together. So I need you guys to mate, thank you, because I want that beautiful pattern. Let's move you out over here, okay. Roduke, you need to come out this way, because, oh, you found a berry bush, perfect. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to give you the short snout, because that's kind of stereotypical of you. And I want to know what pattern you have. What pattern? You have the tiny pattern and the pattern density thick. You pattern shape A. So you might give you pattern shape A, if that's the case. Because I really like that pattern shape. Um, Tatahu, let's move you up this way. You can kind of clear away some grass. We might get some, some stuff from that. Koizy, we do need to bring you up here to kind of give you some kind of a... Uh, can we do that there? Clean that out there. Kiari, can we move you up as well? I want to get rid of all of this grass that's up here. You know that kind of way? Uh, no Duke, you are so pretty. I think you would be one of those creatures that would scout ahead. And you did find a berry bush for us, which is perfect. Can we move up here just to take some berry bush? Mirian, you might even come down to the beach, I'd say. Now, I think one of these guys is a little bit curious about this. Water healing plant. I didn't know there was a water healing plant. Okay, I need to do this carefully so you can get out of the water. So we could probably get Roduke New down to touch that water healing plant if that was the case. Which might be kind of interesting. Okay, let's move Roduke over this way. He could probably explore over here. So let's go to the next turn. There we go. And there's a fish down here. So can we fish this? Okay, we can do that there. And can we move you here? Okay, we got that fish. We need to move you down over to... I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Okay, we got the water healing plant. It did heal him slightly, but not a lot. Okay, let's come over here. Have you take this berry bush. Then we'll have you make a nest. Uh, Coco, I think you would probably follow your mum. Stay near her. That would be the case, I think. Let's just have a little bit of a gander. Uh, Rokirnu, you might come over and just take some of these berry bushes. You guys would definitely take some berry bushes because we are running a little bit late on them. Um, I think Yari might dig and then make a nest. I think Tataku would desperately be one of those people trying to clear off this area to give themselves a home. I'm, I'm so anxious about this area over here. It looks so clear and luscious, but like there's a carnivore plant right beside that healing bush. So maybe one of the tribe members could go and see if they could find that eventually. That would be kind of cool. Roduke, however, is going to hop up here. Oh, he did find a berry bush, which is perfect though. Can we have you guys move down here just to... Yes. Oh, Mirian, you couldn't attack that thing? Oh, I did not realize. I thought that would have been... Oh, we can pick that. There we go. Okay. I might even have Cozy hop down here and make a nest down here. Because we do need to kind of get our tribe up a little bit more. Now, I am going to go ahead and make everyone pink again. Because it's been a while. <laughs> you guys know who were the babies when they were growing up. Oh, Tataku, we need to give you a beautiful, beautiful child to kind of be uh, proceeded by. Let's move you this way. Did we lose... Oh, we didn't. We didn't lose you just yet. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Kiari, let's have you move over to pink. Thank you. And let's change Nodukes to pink. Nope, not yellow. Uh, to pink. There we go. And we'll move you, Rokirnu, to pink as well. And then we'll move Koku down to pink. And then we can have little uh, Mirian move down to pink as well. There we go. Okay, so you guys can desperately like take all these berry bushes anyway and do that there. 
you can go ahead and pluck all of this kind of uh, seaweed up will make you a, a serial seaweed picker. I don't know if something bad's going to happen to Mirian by exploring too far away from the pack. I think, oh, little Roduk did find a nest, however, so I think he would have earned himself a mate if that was the case. Um, we have little Rota over here who is beautiful. I think Koizy, would you have a good thing? Maybe B, maybe A. You both have home stars, that's kind of B. E and G. E, yep, you would definitely move over then, Kiari. We'll have you move up here. You can mate with little uh, Roduke. You guys would be perfect. I think that would be kind of cute. Um, Roduke, we're going to give you... Maybe we can make the male genes. Um, the ones that are passed on like from the tribe member. And the female genes can be the ones that we want to pass on. So his one again, I think he has the shorts now, doesn't he? Let's just double check that. Uh, he has the poison fangs. He has poison fangs, actually, so let's just make that... Oh, I should have picked the big nose there. I don't know why I picked the big nose. Okay. So we're going to move Naduke upwards. You're going to take some berry bushes from there. Tataku, we need you to mate with someone. So can we just check G and A, B and Star. So you guys would make a perfect mate as well. Oh, look at this beautiful little CC. Unfortunately, you have a squirrel tail and you have the spit snout. So I don't know if you'd be a, a suitable mate for our children. But Cozy and Tataku. So Cozy, you would have the Cracker John Nimble Fingers. Tataku, you would have pattern and shape. I want to say you have the low density pattern, isn't it? Or you have, you have the big nose, actually. That's kind of cool. So we might even put big nose in there. And then we might even put big ears. Do we have big ears? We don't. I think maybe your red brown fur would be what's passed on. You guys do need to mate, however. I'm trying to think where we can kind of get you guys to mate from. Do you know what I mean? Like, I need these guys to, to, to make a suitable home. Rokirnu, let's have you hop up here. You found a berry bush, which is perfect. You guys, Rasana, can take that berry bush. Koku, you can take a berry bush too and learn from your mum. So I'm thinking maybe this nest down here might be your guys' options. Mm. Okay, let's have you guys meet anyway and just make a nest. We do have enough to make a nest there. Let's have you hop down. There we go. And have you hop up. Uh, Koduk, let's have you take down here. Can you even... Can you crack? You can. Oh, we found another healing bush. <gasps> this is so beautiful. So can we... Like... Is this a thing? Can we fish? Okay, we didn't get that razor fish yet, but he's gonna pass away. Oh, Roduke, no, you're so cute. But at least we have, like, all these water healing bushes. Maybe they only heal, like, water damage, like, from drowning? This underwater brain is not gonna breathe underwater. Oh, from getting the healing plant! <gasps> That's what it probably does! Okay, well, you have passed away anyway. Let's have you take that leech. You obviously got a leech, so we're going to have Koku um, probably pop down here to take that leech off of you. And maybe that might be enough to start a little romance between you two. I'm not too sure. You have A and E, you have G and E. So I don't know if that's a healthy romance, but I think you'd be quite enamored with him. So you might actually stay down by the beach because he is collecting all those beautiful fishes that you're kind of looking at, kind of thinking, hmm... It's kind of beautiful. So I think Coco and Little Kuduk would have a little bit of a romance. They might not have a child. Uh, it's 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 too much in the air. Too much in the air. We're gonna come over to Mirian over here, who is kind of our wandering explorer. He found a healing bush, however, which is kind of amazing. Um, I'm afraid that like you don't have that poison berry, don't you? You have poison resistance, so Roduke, this is kind of perfect for you to take a nest over here. So Kiari, if you want to move in here, you're already pregnant, but we can have you take some berry bushes. So this is a perfect nest for you, because you have the, the poison berry resistance. Unfortunately, little Mirian does have a... Um, a leech. Can we send anyone over to kind of help him out? Uh, no, Duke will go over and help him out, I think. We have little C's, who's kind of cute, will put you to pink. Um, you have a cracking ability, so I might even send you down towards the ocean. And then we have little Rota over here, who's going to move upwards. Koizy, you had a beautiful child there. Can we have Tataku and you mate again? You guys have so much high fertility, I'm loving it. Okay, so let's see you, you guys there. Tataku, let's have you move up here. Let's have you move over here, Isana, and take from this berry bush. Little Remy, you're so beautiful. You're, like, literally, like, the prettiest. 
Let's move you over there near your dad, Rokirnu. Or sorry, not Rokirnu. Yeah, Rokirnu is your dad, I think, isn't he? Oh no! No, 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 no! Our little sick, beautiful underwater breeding baby was your 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 father. So that's kind of a cute thing. Let's go to the next phase in our pack's life. We did lose someone already. Um, affected by leech bleeding. Oh, I didn't know you had a leech. There we go. You're healed from that leech. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that you actually had gotten a leech. That's kind of, that's kind of sad. I'm, I'm sorry about that now. Uh, you guys are going to pluck away that grass as well. You guys are going to pluck away that grass. You guys, I think, would desperately come down. Um, I think we'll have you take that. So you have cool down water breathing. So maybe you'd come over here. Oh, there's so many of these little plants. So I think Coco would desperately follow along. Oh, she got a worm. Perfect. I think Coco would follow along on the beach as much as she can and watch this mysterious Koduk uh, take up with his fishing ability and see what he can do there. Um, you guys, we definitely need to get the leech off of you. Perfect. So new Duke, you did an honor by coming over here. So I think you would have uh, permitted Miriam to take from the healing plant because he would have shown you what was what was risk the pain. You guys, I need to take you guys to have a berry bush. Uh, take that grass away and then we need to take this grass away as well thank you and who's the little child so you have a nare unfortunately that spit snail is coming through i hate that spit snail so much it's so triggering me i really don't like the way it looks so we're gonna have to try and get rid of it you guys i think cc cc we're gonna have you move up and oh she can dig perfect rhoda let's have you come up here as well you can go ahead and you can take all that grass remy let's have you move down too Koizy, who actually did you mate with in the last part, Koizy? So you gave birth to Remy, which is Tataku, and we lost Tataku. So you're kind of on the, the road for a new mate. So let's just see. Rokirnu, what are you? G and I, B and Star. So I think Koizy would want to mate with you. So she would come up and she found a berry bush, which is perfect. Oh, wait, she rediscovered the berry bush uh, that we had found. Perfecto. So we can actually have you fish, move you here. You can still breed underwater, so I might even move you down. I think little um, little Coco over here would be a little bit kind of uh, unsure about it. Uh, but she did get a leech. She did. Oh, she keeps getting those worms, which is beautiful. Okay, we need to have Remy take some berry bushes from there. There we go. We need to have Koizy take some food from there, and maybe she can mate. Oh, she did become pregnant, which is kind of cool. Uh, Raysana. Let's have you take some bear bushes from there. I kind of need you to mate as well, Raysana. So who can we mate you with? No. I might mate you with... No, you both have A, which is pretty weird. Okay. See, us. we might even move you over to have you mate with New Duke. That would be kind of cute. Mirian has G and I. G and A. So I don't think you'd make a good mate, Mirian. But uh, we're going to have you just take that berry bush. We're going to have you take those poison berries and take you from those. Thank you. Can I just unclick? There we go. Roduke, not Roduke. I need his child. And there, eh? You can move out there. So we did find another poisonous berry bush. And they have immunity to sickness. They don't have any of that bush to bury though. So let's go ahead and just... Pluck away that grass and maybe meat again. Thank you. The food is actually quite low at the moment. Now, Duke, we might need to move you down here just so we can kind of dig away. I think him and Cece would kind of have a little bit of a romance over here. Can we hear anything? There's a few moles around and a few things. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's have you guys move over here and just pluck away here. Um, we're going to have you guys move. Oh, they fell a nest. Okay. So we might even have you guys move in here, just to have a little bit of a look. You can hop down here, Roduke, just so you can kind of see everything that's going on. Little Duke Duke, if you wanna, or Duku, if you wanna say maybe pop out this way. Reme, maybe you'd go along and kind of take away the nests that are unusable. That would make sense. Okay, so one more turn and then we're off for today. Okay, so. You still have underwater breathing. I think maybe you'd come up and maybe you guys would mate. Oh, you did mate. Okay. 
Can we make we can make a nest in the water if we needed to? I think she would make a nest on the beach in the water. I think that'd be kind of an homage. You guys can just attack that nest. You guys can attack that nest too. Oh, I want someone to jump in here and get this mole. Thank you, because we do need that food. You go up there, you can take that, and um, can we take that nest away? Perfect. I think this tribe is really kind of adamant on recycling the nest. I think Cece would definitely come over picking some seaweed. She'd help that out. Can we... <gasps> yes! Thank you, Noduke. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so we'll have you move back over here. Take some berry bushes and take some of that. There we go. You guys cannot take any of that berry bush, so you guys will be moving over. I think Kiari will be kind of happy with the fact... Oh, she has the camouflage as well. I think she'll be kind of happy that they have the horns all along here, so they're not going to run into any monsters from over here, any carnivores, and I think that's kind of cute. Mirian on the other way, I think he will be kind of on the... He found another... Mirian, are you taking after Dill? Are you taking after, like, a... are you the reborn god of of healing? Miriam, we might have to call you Dill. <laughs> that might be kind of cool. Uh, Duduku, we need people to move around here. You need to take some berries from there, move you up here. Oh, you found another berry bush? Perfect. Okay, you guys, Rasana, you need to mate with someone. You need to mate with someone really quickly. I'm not too sure who we're going to mate with because you only have two days left. So what male do we have who's an adult? Rhoda, you have... You'll probably be an adult Rhoda, but would you be a suitable mate? A and G, B and G. We we might have her do that. Oh yes, we're getting so lucky with the placement of these vines. I'm guessing these vines go straight into the jungle area. I'm guessing Rhoda's gonna unleash the, the the monsters on us. I can see it happening. Okay, you guys come over there. You guys, all right. And I think that's going to be it. But I think we're going to have our beautiful little healing water child over here. Who's kind of amazing. Alright guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. It's been a complete pleasure. As always, please like and share this episode. If you do want to see me increase the number of niche episodes per week, please comment down below. Leave your name suggestions. I'll be making a list as per norm. And uh, as always, guys, um, let me know your thoughts on the series and what you guys think. I kind of like the fact that little uh, Koduk over here is kind of a unintentional water creature. He has that fishing tail. He has that runner leg. He's swimming along. He's like... Not what you'd expect a fisher to be, but I'm loving it. Alright guys, bye.